Hello my planner pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design. Today I want to talk about old planners and I'm specifically talking about expired planners, not ones that you've used but ones that you find in the stores on sale kind of now with only a few months left of the current year. Is it worth picking them up? Now you know that I'm going to say yes because I do this all the time but if you're trying to save money, yes, 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 yes. And I'm going to share with you 10 ways in which you can use your expired planners. All right, so let's dive in. So this is what I'm talking about. Planners that this one is undated. So you can find undated ones. If there's undated, I'm willing to pay a little bit more than like super clearance. But ones like this, this is an 18 month planner. It's got six months of 2022 in it and then it's got the full year of 2023. Currently, it's August. So this is gonna be really out of date and I've only got like three months, four months left of it, right? So why do I pick these up? That's what we're gonna talk about. All right, so the first one is that you can literally redate your planner and I do have videos where I've shown you how to do that and I have one coming up on different ways to do that. But I do this all the time. I redate my planners all the time. Again, I like to make this an inexpensive hobby because the, the more inexpensive it is, the more likely I am to do it. It's almost like a, a challenge I have for myself. But you can redate these. Just put a bit of washi here over the 2002. I mean, I redate my monthly anyway, but all you've got to do, this is the teacher planner, is just put a little box there with a the number on it or put one of your little white stickers on, like a little put a little bit of sticker paper on, boom. Then you can just either write in the date, you could even get like sticker books that have the actual dates on them. But I do sell also a printable on Etsy with the numbers and the days on them. You see me use those as well, but it's so easy to redate your planner. And again, there is a video coming on that soon. All right, reason number two, and that is the dates that these are for, like Monday start, whatever, they will come back around again they will and here's the thing it's not always the correct day so as i look at this and this is 2022 then it comes into here this might not be for january the 27th might end up being for september so all i have to do because all of this is the same i just got to take this out and put this in september and then i can put september into here right because the monthly stays the same so don't be afraid of picking them up, especially if the middles and everything are all the same. Don't be afraid of picking them up because you can sometimes, there's a, I think there's a website or you'll sometimes see them um, in the Facebook groups where they'll tell you which planners to pull from. So if you're willing to play the long game and not have to read hate, that is the way to go as well. And all you have to change then each week is this little bit. All of the dates will stay the same. You'll just have to change this bit. But yeah, they could eventually come back around and be the real date, just a different year. All right, the third reason that you should pick up your expired planners on the sale and clearance is it's a great way to try different sizes of planner. Whether you have a big and you're like, you know, I think I wanna try a classic or a mini or a skinny, or you want to try a half letter, or you want to try a different brand. Like, it's a great way to do that, that is cheap, and you don't feel like you're wasting money. And related to that is tip number four, in that it's a great way also to try a completely different layout. Maybe you want to try a teacher planner, maybe you want to try a horizontal, or maybe you've been using a dashboard forever, and you want to use a vertical. This is a great way to try those layouts without having to invest the full price in a new planner. If you're not sure, pick up a cheap one for like five bucks and then see if it's something that you want to do. All right, the fifth thing that you can do with your expired out of date planners, this is 2022. I literally bought this. I like the cover, but this is, says 2022. I like the discs. This cost me, I think it was three something in the sale in 2022 but I bought the discs. These are metal discs, silver discs. I bought it for the discs. And if I want to use it, I will turn it so that this 
is my cover but I could also use the divider. Some of the dividers are very, very pretty. Is it me? Not really. But I could use these for something else. I could use the insides for daily pages or something like that. There's lots of other uses, and this is something that I'll be going into in other videos, but you can literally gut your planner, use the discs for another planner, Maybe I want to put it on this planner, put the discs on this planner. I could use these for something else and just use them as dividers or something. Yeah, there's lots of other ways that you can use the insides, the guts of your planner. So don't think about it as a planner. If it's metal discs, pick it up when it's only a few dollars because these are $15, $20 on their own. So if I see metal discs, I will pick them up for three or four bucks, totally. The sixth way that you can use your expired planners is you can gut them. And what I mean by gut them is like this, 2022, I'm gonna flip this over. Maybe I use this as my cover. So now I've got this as my cover. I can take these out. I can put a box here and these can just be tabs and I can use this as a notebook. I can just put in, punch and put in some happy note paper, like some regular paper because this is big as well, I can put in regular paper. But yeah, just punch it and put regular paper in there, just use it as a notebook. I mean, you would pay full price, like $20, $25 for a large happy notes. So instead, look for a planner that's on sale, flip the cover, and then gut the insides. Just shove paper in there, take all the, the regular, the regular paper out and then just use it as a notes like it's cover dividers and discs use it as a notebook all right the seventh way that you can use expired planners and that is that you can gift them to a friend now if i was gifting this one to a friend this is again the horizontal it has it has it's currently august so it only has this bit that is the current year so it's like the last quarter, right? The last quarter. All of this I could take out and use for other projects. And then what I would do is I would just get some like regular paper paper, paper paper, that is a term, some regular paper, put a paper filler at the back, maybe put another divider or something at the back, and then gift it to a friend. And then just say, hey, I've started planning. This is a system that I use. Here you go. Maybe you want to try it. Or you could just give them the whole thing. Hey, thought of you, I thought you'd like this. Bring more people into the planner world and then tell them to subscribe to my channel. Ta-da-da. Alrighty, I think we're up to number eight. I think we're up to number eight. But that is you can use the basics of the planner and the insides to make your own sticker book. Now this works best, I will say this works best with the skinny the skinny planners, but you could make it work with a classic. And here's what you would do. Ignore this, but let's say this is your divider and then this is your inside paper. All you would do with this is you would take your sticker sheet, you would take your sticker sheet, put a little bit of adhesive on the back, put that into there. I mean, you could cut these again if you wanted to be really pedantic. And what I would do if I was doing this, again, this is just me, I would cut this in half and then punch this side. I'd cut here, punch this side, and then I would just put that in there. And then you could put two on each page. I hope that makes sense. I don't want to punch, I don't want to cut the page because I want to use this eventually, especially when it's only like three or four dollars. Definitely pick them up. All right, number nine, question mark. I think it's number nine. And that is you can take the planner, however it size, layout, doesn't matter, does not matter. And you can make your own memory planner art journal, junk journal, some other kind of creative project. And it doesn't even have to matter that it's out of date. It doesn't matter what layout it is because you are just gonna cover the pages, especially if you're doing art journaling or junk journaling or anything like that. And that is something that I will be diving into in the future, in future videos, because I love art journaling, junk journaling, and all of that. And I might even start sharing some of my previous projects. But if you're looking for some kind of creative outlet 
further than planning, then art journaling, junk journaling, memory planning, even if it's just memory planning, you bought a vertical. You bought a vertical and you just plop a picture down. Write down what you did. Like, and it becomes almost like a scrapbook. Remember scrapbooks from the days old? <laughs> Does anybody still scrapbook? Let me know in the comments down below. It's just, I think about this and I wonder if, oh, look at those. So these are the Canon Ivy paper stickers. It's like a little printer. It's like a little printer that connects to your phone. And that would fit perfectly. I might have to just trim it slightly. That would be a great way to memory keep. Or you could just print off your own pictures, you know? So you can memory keep art journal, junk journal, anything like that. Great use for expired planners because it doesn't matter that they're out of date. All right, and then there is number 10. And that is you can use your expired planners as a prop. <laughs> as a prop. If you post to social media, you'll know how it is when you've got lights glaring. And what annoys me, here's what annoys me. And I have one that I, I'm using, but I forget that it's there. Here's what annoys me is when I get to the end of my planner. Let's say we get to the end of my planner and you have this. You see this? This disparity between this being thick, because this is the, the first half of the planner, and then this. And then you're like trying to take a photo and then there's this weird shadow. Can you see that? Whereas if I bring that up there, now you don't see it. So what I'm starting to do is use one of my old planners like this, and I'm going to put white discs on. So I like white for my photos. And then I can put my spread on and it's just in the middle. And all I have to do is like if this, let's say, let's use this one again. I wouldn't use this one because of the discs, but I'm going to come to the middle where then I don't get this weird shadow. And then if like, okay, now it's not, now it's not January. All I have to do is like, okay, it's August. I'm going to get the August divider, take it out and put it here. So if you see my Instagram photos in future, that's what I'm doing because it annoys me when there's that weird shadow there. So if you're taking photos for social media, maybe you, you, you just buy one and you're done, right? just buy one and then you put your planner in and I've heard people do this like other content creators and I'm like what that's I never even I never even realized that was a thing but yeah that's a tenth thing that you can do use it as a prop for your social media photos because why not all right I hope I showed you how you can use your expired planners I want you to let me know down below in the comments do you pick up your expired planners I mean there's four months left in your planners right now they should be cheap they should be cheap and if you are the kind of person that picks up expired planners I want you to let me know down below what you do with them all right I hope you enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you next time my planner pals bye